Welcome to the seventh video in Stoneware Birds Catching Creativity Not the Coronavirus and this week we're going to be looking at drawing form and I've got Badger here to help me with an illustration because he's got these lovely corduroy grooves on him he's, he shows us how he's made up three-dimensionally and this exercise is called taking an amp for a walk and my mum taught me it as she taught me most of these exercises and basically you imagine that you are a little ant travelling over the thing that you are drawing and on your paper you're going to leave the little footprints that an ant might leave behind and your eye is going to observe really carefully and try to get your hand to describe the shape, the line, the path that that ant would be taking across, in this case, the body of badger. So lots of little ant paths running across. Dum 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 dum. Here he's got these marks here coming down his face, or you could have done a little ant coming this way down his nose, that way down his nose, along the edge of his ear. All the time, you're looking really carefully to see what the shape is, how you imagine a little ant would be traversing this terrain. And your pen or your paper is leaving its little footprints on the page. And I'm not going to draw a badger, but you can choose anything you want to draw. It could be a still life, it could be some fruit, it could be uh, an animal, which is what I'm going to draw. Anything you want. I'm just going to go as if I am going across and making little footprints of dots or little marks. And I'm going along the cloth and then I'm going to go up around her tail. And then down and then up into her haunch. <laughs> Hopefully you can see a cat beginning to emerge on the page. Do share the drawings that you do on my Facebook page, at Stoneware Birds. I love seeing other people's drawings. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and like this video. It helps you get notifications of when my videos come out, but it also means that YouTube are more likely to share this video with other people. And if you know anybody who would like to improve their drawing or has never drawn before and is a bit scared of where to start, please share my videos with them. Next week, we'll be doing something that's probably one of the hardest things to draw, and that is looking at some approaches to how to draw hands. And all the techniques I've been using and that I've been teaching you will certainly be useful for that. Oi, you know, um, you know um, when you do your bit about, like, subscribe and share and show your pictures and all of that why don't you do that on instagram well that's a good point badger i hadn't thought of that yeah well you're not the brightest button in the box are you but you could just like have an instagram tag like uh hash mark creative pulsa that's your name isn't it yes that's my name badger uh, and you could have that couldn't you and uh when am i going to get paid for being a part of this video